Hello. Yes, I'm seeing your screen. I'm seeing the screen. Okay. I'm seeing the screen. Okay, okay. So we'll start. So now we discuss about that free turn. And for the free turn, uh, we I already make the map for distance to river, distance to road. Okay. So basically, this is the map for distance to road. So further, we if you want, you can also make the better view. Suppose just I simply add the visualization because when you want to work for your paper or your dissertation then you can also easily mention this type of things suppose i just try to keep this type of color then just make this stressed and i want to choose the proper color so this is more better so just we put this type of thing then apply and okay so now you find out this type of map for distance to road okay for the free turn okay so basically this type of red color it's indicating the high distance from the road okay and this type of blue color indicating about that low distance from the road so this is our distance to road map as well as now i create the distance to water body map so i already downloaded the water body so this is the water body and now this water body i want to need only for this free turn boundary because i want to make the distance to river map for the free turn so now just simply click on the geoprocessing and then clip and further just uh, clip the cell and then clip with your free turn boundary free turn boundary and then uh, just okay so now it will be clip for your free turn study area so just we get only for those river which river or water body is available for the free turn okay so now you can see this is my free turn boundary and in this boundary I find out this type of river so now I want to use this river line or river shape file and make the distance to river map using the Euclidean distance. And further, I want to just keep in here the new this layer. And now uh, it also okay. And I want to save it in my folder. Suppose I put the folder name is that it's the distance to river. I put the dr. Dr means suppose uh, d river. Okay, distance to river. Okay, put any name and save it and i put the output cell the same cells and then increment so processing extent uh, i just keep on here the free turn boundary further also put in here uh, the roster analysis just keep as free turn boundary okay then okay and further okay so now it create the this river map so we can easily find out a distance river map so it Create it. So we find out this type of map and further just click on here and go to the properties. So I want to add the stressed, it will be mo look more better. So I want to display it this type of color. Okay. And then I put here uh, the apply and okay. So now you find out this type of red color indicating the high distance from the river so basically this is the uh, our fa variable factor in this factor we try to put in here distance to river distance to road okay distance to river then distance to road as well as we already make the land use land cover map for year of 2000 then 2010 and 2020 okay we, we already created the, this type of map so now we try to use this type of variable Actually, if you want, you can also add the uh, population density factor also. Okay. So, distance to river, distance to road, or dam. Okay. I already make the dam. So, this is our dam. You can say I already added all of layer. So, basically, when you want to make the paper or your result, so this type of things you, you also need to write. Also, need to make the map for the dam map, then distance to river map, distance to water body map, distance to road map. Or if you have the population uh, density, then it also more better for prediction. So this is the data for dam. So now we already created the distance to river, then distance to road, and also create the dam. Okay, create the dam. As well as we already make the land use land cover for 2000, then 2010, and 2020. So now this is my variable. So basically we find out that um, formal and in informal variable so now we try to use this type of variable and further we also make the prediction then you also get the more better result so now i try to open the new qgs software and then try to apply it 
just to open a new I want to use the QJ.3 version. So now I want to use and use type of variable such as distance to road, distance to river, dam. Then we also try to predict for land use land cover change in the future. So let's go and try to predict using this type of things. So just try to uh, open the empty project and now I simply import all of data okay which i already generated in this folder so i need the data for distance port just i simply call up data then i need the thousand then need the data for 2010 and 2020 and further i need the data for uh, dem and also need the data for port Okay, let me say here at export data. Part that I want to uh, DR river. Try to again that third thousand. Find out that this type of data since this software mainly for the prediction. So here you can see we find out the data 2000 land use land cover data 2010, then distance to river, distance to road, and also get the dam data and also find out that year of 2020. So now I want to use this type of data and make the prediction. Okay. So for that, we already install the Molas plugin. So just click on the raster. Here you can see the Molas. Just click on the Molas. So now in this case, we try to predict based on the initial 2000 and final 2010. So now in this case, if I predict, then we can get the 10 years interval. Okay. 10 years interval means that year of 2020 we can predict. Okay. And then as well as special variables. So special variables I put in here dem. I also put here the distance to river, distance to road. I simply input in here. So special variables you can add more. Suppose if you have the population density, then you can also add the population density also. Okay, in the prediction. Suppose if you have any other types of uh, special variable, suppose slope, distance to road, distance to river, or population density lot of variables we can easily add okay so it's different okay you can see the lot of prediction paper they are also add the different types of special variables it can be dam data it can be distance to river distance to road or distance to center okay so if you want you can also add it distance to center just make the distance to center map look like that here you can see and this case i try to add in here the distance to river distance to if you are if you have the center Suppose you make the center distance to center, okay, and then you can also use this, this type of variable. So in this case, I just try to apply the distance uh, to river, distance to road, and dam. But we can add the lot of special variables for our prediction. And when you want to add this type of variables, then we also get the more accurate future prediction map because this type of variable is also responsible for future land use land cover changes okay so in this case i just uh, put the three variables and now click on the check geometry so we find out that geometry is the mass it's very important okay geometry is mass it means that your special resolution your uh, special reference or everything will be same for all of data so now it's okay it shows the geometry is the mass so now further click on the evaluating correlation and I want to make the correlation for the Pearson and check it. So we find out this type of correlation here. You can see for that dam data, then distance to river. We find distance to road. We find out this type of correlation. Okay. So if you add the more, then you also get the more information for the correlation. Then area change. Just click on the update table. So now we got the result for changes. Okay. You find out the changes. Okay. You find out the changes look like that. And I want to calculate the square kilometer. So now you find out this type of razor here you can see between the 
2010 percentage display 23.55 43.42 okay so this is the informal then formal then water body forest and finally barren land okay we find out that you can see how much increasing 90.87 uh increasing 1.0 uh, decreasing 1.6 increasing 2.45 decreasing uh 18.01 percent tense uh, de uh decreasing for the barren land so this information is also need so just i uh take the for screenshot and then save it for that you also write write the result and discussion text just i take a photo just i take the photo because this information is write the paper okay and save it update here it's a yeah find out that so now also create the change map time period also make get change map same process so now it create the change map i want to wait for it I just take a change change thousand ten and then save it. Now it also now it's creating the change map between these two time period 2002 2010 and also get this type of information with uh, area increasing or decreasing how much percent tense increasing or decreasing we can easily get this type of information from here so further you can also write it for your uh, analysis how much increasing how much decreasing you can also write it and we also created the change map okay mainly transition map formal to formal informal to informal okay water body to formal or barrel land to formal so this type of things then transition potential modeling so in this case we are just selecting the artificial neural network we create and then number of samples uh, we put the 1000 and then further i put the iteration maximum i put the 100 if you want you also put the 1000 hidden layer i put take for the 10 hidden layer in my artificial neural network and further i just train the neural network so now it created the distance to river and dam okay but when you want to add the more factor all of factor which you send me when you add then you also get the more accurate prediction you also get the more accurate prediction so you try to create this type of uh, factor in the and distance then you also get the more better map so now in this case if i check my prediction map which i created i try to open it and then check the result for which i can get just it's uh, have been here prediction data for free turn from here we find out the data for update folder yeah so this is the prediction map we generated just simply create this map in arc map we find out this type of map so i try to add the color and this is the prediction map for year of 2030. Let's make the color map. Color map. I want to the color for I already the color code. Then I a formal. water forest parent further apply and okay so we find out type of map for year of 2030 find out so increasing the lot of uh, formal settlement in year of 2030 
and we also find out the sum uh, settlement for Europe 2000 uh, for informal settlements located this type of place it's increasing okay so this and also decreasing some forest area between this time period in the future we find out that it decreasing some forest area okay so this is the prediction map okay and this prediction map we are just keep only for the three variables mainly distance to road distance to river and dist and dam data if you want you can also add here the slope distance to center to river or center to town or town center distance so a lot of factor we can add and further you also make the more better prediction for europe so in this case um, you if you want you can uh, create all of factor okay just make all of factor uh, using the euclidean distance okay using the euclidean distance and send me the map package okay suppose three cities for freeton then um your konarki and morovia send me this factor as a map pkz format okay further you can easily make the prediction and uh, complete the whole work so now we need the time for make the make the variables okay so you try to uh, share this type of variable as soon as possible basically friday and saturday i am busy so if possible in the sunday within sunday you send me all of variables okay we see you including in here just make the distance to center distance to cbd minimum di distance to major road distance to minor road so all of factor population density for three cities you created for all of factor for the slope okay and send me the map pk as a format for three cities okay different different file you can send me so now uh, i will send you this file also just simply share with you just a file here and now sure download for update 